I first heard of this big place with the pretty sounding name because of a call I received from a member of the Willowbrook staff, Dr. Michael Wilkins. The doctor invited me to see the conditions he was talking about, so unannounced and unexpected by the school administration, we toured building number six. The doctor had warned me that it would be bad. It was horrible. There was one attendant for perhaps 50 severely and profoundly retarded children who were making a pitiful sound. Naked and smeared with their own feces, they were making a pitiful sound. The kind of mournful wail that it's impossible for me to forget. This is what it looked like, this is what it sounded like, but how can I tell you about the way it smelled? It smelled of filth, it smelled of disease, and it smelled of... But how can I tell you about the way it sounded, it sounded like... Something you never get used to. the governor can defend and explain away the budget cuts for the Department of Mental Hygiene, and perhaps Dr. Miller can defend the filthy dehumanizing conditions we found in this and other buildings. What we found and documented here is a disgrace to all of us. This place isn't a school, it's a dark corner where we throw children who aren't pretty to look at. It's the big town's leper colony. It still took more than 10 years before authorities began shutting down. Many patients were transferred to group homes, but others were left to fend for themselves. There are those who believe that some patients, out of confusion and habit, returned to the 365 acres of Willowbrook to roam the abandoned buildings and live in the tunnel system that lay underneath. had warned me that it would be bad. It was horrible. 